Beautiful summer's day, summer's afternoon, nice beer garden, one walking you ask for, so refreshing. Well, today I'm in, believe it or not, the Blind Beggar, notorious in the 60s for gangster activity, which I'm not going to go into because there is a link above this video. You can go and see my video on the Blind Beggar and learn a little bit more about it. But today's video is about um, Feast and Mishti. Now Feast and Mishti is an authentic, um, not Indian restaurant, but Bangladeshi restaurant. And I say Bangladeshi because there is a difference between Indian and Bangladeshi. And this is authentic Bangladeshi food. I've come here to try out um, some of their food today because I've heard a lot about it. It's quite a famous little restaurant. And uh, yeah, let's see what it's going to be, um, what they have to offer. Um, it's renowned, it's got vegetarian food, it's got uh, halal meat. Um, it's also renowned by the Bangladeshis uh, for being authentic Bangladesh. You know, you go into an Indian restaurant these days, you're very unlikely to see Indian people, all Bangladeshis, eating in there. Well, this little restaurant's different. You go in there and it's predominantly Bangladeshi come Indian people in there um, eating authentic Bangladeshi food. Uh, so yeah, today I'm going to go and try out Feast and Mishti. There is a link below for more information on uh, Feast and Mishti if you plan to visit it or would like to go and try some of their uh, food. And whilst you're down there, if you could subscribe, it would be really appreciated because it really helps my channel and helps me bring you more of these fantastic, useful little inf information videos that might help you decide where you want to go for your next meal. So yeah, if you could just hit that subscribe button and ring that little notification bell, it really helps my channel, so really appreciate it. And without any further ado, and before I get too intoxicated, let's go and check out Feast and Mishti and see what this place has to offer. Looking forward to this one, really looking forward to this one. So here I am in Feast and Mishti, um, traditional Bangladeshi restaurant. I'm going to be helping myself some of this food. So here I am in Feast and Mishti, which is a traditional Bangladeshi restaurant. I was actually told to come here by a Bangladeshi and highly recommended this place. Um, they've got everything here. I've just got my food. It is a buffet, so you help yourself basically. And um, yeah, it's in Bethnal Green in well, Whitechapel. As soon as you get off Whitechapel train station, you turn left, it's right there on your left hand side. And yeah, I've just got myself a plate of food. What we have done, we got some of the particular item from around the Bangladesh. For example, from Silet, yeah. from Dhaka, yeah. from Chittagong. Yeah. So there is all the districts that have some particular item. And we have got those items from Dhaka. Oh, okay. oh, so the recipe here. Yeah. And then we are cooking, we are making here, and the people love it. It is actually amazing food. I've just helped myself from the buffet and all I've tasted so far. Do you know Thank what? you. I'm, Thank I'm you. in heaven. I'm in absolute heaven. Thank, Thank you. you very much. I am in paradise. I am in heaven. I've just helped myself to a buffet here at um, Feast and Mishti. Totally traditional Bangladeshi food. Um, serves and he is great. The food is very, very rustic, healthy yourself buffet. And yeah, I'm just about to tuck into this and let's see what it tastes like. As they say, the proof of the pudding is in the tasting. 
Amazing, amazing food. Thank you. Really, really amazing. yourself the buff as many times as you like and I've decided to help myself to another second portion yes call me greedy if you want but this food is just so nice I couldn't resist and I've got myself some chicken curry some lamb curry an egg curry and a bit of a uh, colored chicken of some specification but yeah here we go beautiful <laughs> Thank you. 
Real dramatic. So, Bethnal Green, Whitechapel, East End, Gangster Territory, Feast and Mishti. What do you want me to say? That is probably one of the best curries I've ever had in my life. It's a buffet, you help yourself, and um, you know, there's a lot of choices there. There's vegetarian choices there. The meat is halal meat for Muslims, any Muslims want to eat there. Uh, my opinion on it, as I've just said, one of the best curries I've ever had in my life. Uh, location Bethnal Green, yeah, it is what it is. Nothing against Bethnal Green, of course, it's a very east end part of London and central east end part of London. Um, the bill came out to £12.99. You can see that. A bit pricey, maybe, but then that's probably what you'd expect to pay if you went to an Indian restaurant. You know, how many Indian restaurants do you go to and you see it full of Indians or Bengal Bengalis? Very, very rare. Whereas this place is just full of Bengalis and Indians um, all eating uh, authentic Bengali food. And you know, you, you haven't got your chicken madras or meat vindaloo or anything like that there because it is predominantly um, traditional, authentic Bengali food. 12 99 yet, yeah, a little bit steep. Um, Bethnal Green, these are little things. Do you know what? I'm gonna give this restaurant a nine. Uh, and mainly because I don't give tens. It has to be something out of this world to get a 10. Um, on this occasion, yeah, definitely a good nine. Um, they deserve it. It's absolutely fantastic food. And yes, I will be coming back again. And uh, if you like your curries and you like your uh, traditional authentic Indian food, I highly recommend visiting this place. Easy to get to. Um, and yeah, pretty much that's it. I'm Kevin Harrington. This is Chef Travels. Thanks very much for watching. Hope I'll see you again on the next one. Take care. Thank you. Cheers.